All right, let's take a look at that forecast this evening. A little bit of light rain scattered across the Miami Valley. A fairly cool evening on the way, 52 at 7 o'clock, 49 at 9 o'clock. And the best chance of seeing some of the rain will be through the early nighttime hours. So still a chance of showers at 11 o'clock and 48 degrees. But past midnight, the rain should come to an end. Even the clouds breaking up by tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, but we'll be down to 40 degrees. And then those clouds completely disappear as we head through the afternoon. 47 at noon, 52 at 5 o'clock should be bright and sunny as we we head towards the evening commute tomorrow. Rainfall totals today heavier to the west and southwest of us, 46 hundredths of an inch at Indianapolis, 28 hundredths of an inch Cincinnati, about a half inch or so around Louisville. Just trace rainfall amounts up around Fort Wayne and Lima. And here in Dayton, we've had a tenth of an inch of rain, 57 degrees the high today, 42 the low temperature this morning with the normals at 57 and 39. 77 the record high, 1987, down to 13 back in 1951. Live Doppler 2X tonight, a couple of sprinkles, May Mainly to the east of Dayton, uh, north side of Kettering, out towards Beaver Creek. And we're just talking some very light rain here. Same situation up in the Miami County around Troy and Tip City. Slightly heavier showers up near Covington on the Greenville uh, Creek and Stillwater River areas. And then Union City now, we're picking up some showers there between Union City and Ansonia. And around Fountain City, Indiana, some showers. And down to Cambridge City and Centerville, Indiana, uh, looking at some of that rain as well. But the showers have really been having a tough time time pushing northward into the northern part of our viewing area. You'll probably just see a couple of sprinkles. That'll be about it. And this whole area of rain later tonight will start to translate off to the south and east and move away from us. And that'll open the door for those clearing skies late tonight and into tomorrow morning and getting back to that sunshine for the weekend. Right now we're at 52 degrees. A calm wind being reported, but we'll see that go around to the northeast and increase tonight. 89% the relative humidity and daylight saving time. Just a reminder, that'll be ending this Sunday at 2 o'clock in the morning. So you, before you go to bed Saturday night, be sure to set that clock back one hour. want to remind you of that. And the temperatures right now are still fairly mild south and east of us around Columbus and Parkersburg, Huntington over to Charleston, West Virginia. You can see the cooler temperatures where the rain's been occurring throughout the day. And really the cool air starting to dominate the central and eastern part of the country now. Just the east coast seeing some milder temperatures. There's our low, that comma-shaped feature spinning away. But as I mentioned, it will be moving southeastward. We can watch it here on future track tonight. Showers through this evening after midnight coming to an end. Clearing skies working in from the north through the day tomorrow and should pave the way for those clearing skies by late day and beautiful sunshine as we head on into Saturday. Should be a real nice weekend. Uh, seasonably cool temperatures expected. Forecast tonight, those showers around early on ending after midnight. A breezy, chilly night on the way down to about 40. Mostly sunny, a breezy, cool day tomorrow up to 54 degrees for that high. And the temperatures at 8 o'clock around 40, skies clearing out through the morning, 45 at 10 o'clock, 47 at noon. We should be up into the low 50s by late day. Seven-day planner, Saturday's high around 55 after morning low around freezing. Pretty nice on Sunday up near 60, breezy, and then rain chances start to come back as we go into next week.